Hello, this is Jammo, gonna play a game I love. You heard me, love. I love Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I'm not gonna pretend I don't just to go along with everyone else. Yeah, it's the story's generic and the gameplay's simple compared to the other ones, but this was a game I loved as a kid growing up, and uh, it really means a lot to me. I mean, it's true, if you look at it from a, like, a serious critic critical standpoint, yeah, it does come short, but for what it is, it's a fun adventure. So let's start this. I'm at the Hill of Destiny. My village is gone. What on earth is going on? Uh, this place is going to sink any second. Let's climb up quick. Sure thing, old man. Press the B button to jump across. Thank you for breaking the fourth wall, old man. You're taking long enough. Look over there, that's the focus tower. Once the heart of the world. And no promise this as the vile four will steal the power that divide the world between four doors. And then the time when that will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Who, like, how do you know he's the knight? Seriously. All you need to know is, this is a generic story where you have to collect four crystals. You know. But anyways, it's still a good game. And, uh, to me, that's just my opinion. And this guy basically goes on and on about some, you know, cheesy prophecy. And then this monster shows up. Evil... Oh, he looks scary. By the way, this game has awesome music. I got no spells. I'm gonna use my attack. Six damage. That's scary. He's a behemoth. You, yeah, I chopped off your horns. Basically uses a ultra-simplified version of Final Fantasy's combat system, but the older ones. Stop that! Kill him! Come on! Yay! I beat him! Took most of my health with him. Seems I was right at last I have found a true knight! You're telling me there's no actual other knight in the entire kingdom? Anyways, he just does his little shoulder shrug. By the way, your character's name is Benjamin. You won't care about this story. I don't. And we have to go to Level Forest. I don't know if its name is supposed to be ironic or something. That's a stage called Level Forest. Anyways, did I say I love this game? I'm sorry, but I enjoy it. Level Forest. See, you got this old dude, and he's, like, following you. He's some kind of stalker. There you are! What do you think I should do first? Oh, that wasn't the old guy. I'm talking reverse. Save, uh, the crystal of Earth. Okay, see you. Gotta save this crystal of Earth. Hey, it's the old man in his nightcap. That boulder is blocking my way to dude, wouldn't you sell the sod? Okay. Thank you. If you wanna go through this forest, find Kaylee and Forest and show her this. The tree wither, which is supposed to be like... What is it exactly? Is it like a withered piece of a tree? That's all I can think of. Like, it's surely not an entire withered tree you're carrying around. That'll be a feat. You got this town where everyone looks like they're from a... Uh, from a... Oh man, I was going to say some kind of clever commercial that always has old people, but because I couldn't come up with it in time, I kind of wasn't that funny. I apologize sincerely. I'm just going to sleep in your bed without you knowing. Thank you. My health is restored. My health is restored. You got cure potions, though. This game is really easy, and you won't really need that many potions. But they're there when you need them. See? I can stick out my little sword of doom. There's an old guy here. I don't care what you have to say, old guy. Go back to your early bird breakfast. Oh, and there's a secret here. Anyone who's played this game knows this secret. You go behind here. 
Cure. We have our first spell, and it's also the most overpowered and e easy to use. It's seriously, this game is not that hard. And most deaths that come from this game are kind of from the unfair, well, you just didn't have much of an option type of thing. I'm Kaylee. Uh, okay, there's a uh, tree blocking north of the eight level forest. Kaylee joins your team, and uh, poor old mom has no nothing to really say about it. You show her your tree weather, and she just has to help. Don't worry, mom. I'll have her back in one piece, or two pieces if I get hungry. Gonna move over to level forest. Hey, Kaylee! Chop down that tree for me. And enter the awesome battle music. I'm, I hope this captures right. And these are brownies. The axe is pretty good. One thing I did think was pretty innovative for this is how uh, enemies change appearance w when taking damage. That was actually pretty darn innovative for its, for its time when the other Final Fantasies weren't doing that. You got these weird little uh, jello molds. Got a slime, a brownie, and a slime. Ew, it's coagulating. Do that in private, please. Thank you. Kaylee will heal you, because she's awesome. Thank you. Actually, you can set her to be uh, not autonomous. Hold on, I'm going to turn her off autonomous so I can control her. I'm going to kill everything here, mainly because I want the experience. Experience is always good. Actually, what button is it to remove autonomy? How does a blob you stab? I'm sorry, am I the only one asking this? Okay, we got this butt munch dead. You were waiting, you were waiting for that moment where I used the word butt munch in this walkthrough. Probably gonna get in that chest and call it quits. This game is very simple, but also very satisfying. Every death, you kind of feel glad that you got it down. It's good for what it is, in my opinion. And I actually would be uh, happy if Nintendo, or well, Square has been, Square released uh, Super Mario RPG on Virtual Console. I wouldn't mind seeing this on Virtual Console. I pay $8. I honestly am not complaining about the price there. Anyways, uh, I'm finished this part. I'm gonna do another part too. And Super Mar Metroid's almost finished. Ocarina of Time will get done eventually, and so will Super Mario 64, another part coming. Anyways, enjoy this part. <laughs>